Sweetie, I'm home. Ah, oh, I missed you so much. How was your day? Still feeling a bit under the weather, huh? Oh, jeez. Your fever seems to have gotten worse. Hang on, let me go grab you some medicine from the cabinet. Here we go. All right, sweetie. I know these pills don't taste the best, but it'll help bring down that fever. Sweetheart, stop being such a baby and just open your mouth. <sighs> Please. Don't make this difficult for me. Now open your mouth. I don't understand. You hate it when I'm mean and hurtful to you. So I try to be nice and gentle. But even when I do that, you defy me in the things I do for you. Why won't you accept my love? Do you think I'm some kind of monster? <laughs> no, I'm not a monster. A monster wouldn't love you like I do. A monster wouldn't keep your friends' disembodied heads around for you to cherish and talk to while I'm away. A monster wouldn't have dug up your parents' graves or had a funeral for them after he killed them. A monster wouldn't let that pathetic waste of human flesh you're so infatuated with stay alive even after I explain how much I despise them. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now I see what I have to do. Don't worry, sweetie. I'll make sure to take care of our problem real soon. After I finally get rid of your little college crush, you'll finally be able to understand how strong my love is for you. Kill them. Aw, oh, sweetheart. Kill is such a harsh word. I prefer to call it... Getting them more acquainted with God. <sighs> I can't bear to see you in pain like this. I'm sorry for making you feel so upset, sweetie. I promise to bring back their eyes. So you can always admire them. <laughs> Man, I've got to tell you, I had my doubts about you in the beginning, but you far exceeded my expectations on staying alive after being stabbed so many times, and the fact that you haven't gone into shock yet is an even more impressive feat. Bravo! Bravo! Maybe you're not the useless slab of human waste that I thought you were. Your damage. <laughs> My damage is the fact that some unwashed cum stain has made my beloved sweetheart become infatuated with them. Tell me, how does it feel to know you've stolen the heart of another man's lover? I told you a thousand times already. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't stolen anyone from you. You've got the wrong guy. Liar! Save <laughs> O'Connor, age 21. Born on April 3rd, 1996, is stated to have brown hair and those disgusting blue eyes my sweetheart loves so much. Is this not who you are? Yeah. Then why are you lying to me? Please. 
just let me go. Let me go. I just want to go home. How pathetic. I don't know what they ever saw in you. Well, and that's not true. There was one thing they always adored about you, and it was your perfect blue eyes they seemed to get lost in. Say, you don't mind if I get a closer look at them? Do you? What are you doing? mesmerizing. I guess beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. said earlier. Well, hopefully this gift I got them will help break the eyes when I apologize. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm home. Now I know you're still giving me the silent treatment, but I guarantee you'll change your tune when you... Sweetie? Where'd you go? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to play hide and seek with me, aren't you? <laughs> you know I love to play games, but I hate being surprised. No, I think I'll make an exception this time. Well, you're not in the closet, and that's usually the first place everyone picks to hide at. And you don't seem to be under the bed or the bed sheets itself. Alright, I give up. You had your fun, but now playtime is over. Come out and show yourself. <laughs> I don't think you heard me correctly. I'm not asking you to show yourself. I'm telling you. Now come here. That's much better. For a second there, I thought I was going to need to burn this place to the ground just to make you comply. <laughs> Thankfully, you remembered your place like the good little pet you are. And who knows? If you keep this up, I might be persuaded to buy you a new collar to wear. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Ah, there you are. Christ, don't scare me like that again. I got so worried you had escaped from me and who knows what I would have done then. But that doesn't matter anymore. 